that before anything else? How's uh, Reese with his shoulder? Um, not good. I'm only going off what the physio said. He's, he's gone to hospital now. Um, I think it's dislocation, so we're going to miss it for a long time now, unfortunately. Um, and I think that kind of sums up the day, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, yeah, listen, I'm, until he's been diagnosed, there's not a lot else to say, but it's obviously not very good. Yeah. Um, one of those afternoons um, that nobody was expecting. What's your take on that? Uh, no, but um, I've learned in my long career of football that um, always expect the unexpected. And we haven't today. We were miles off it, which is really surprising. I haven't seen that coming at all. Um, but we've got, you know, we're all going to take full blame now. I've got to take blame. Um, we've got to suck this up now and read all the negative newspapers, articles, media, and uh, use it as fuel as energy going forward. Did anything particularly surprise you about Bedford? No, I thought they were a well-organised team. We've come here and enjoyed playing today, and we've let that happen on our patch. Um, I've won every home game since I've joined this football club because we're hard to beat, uh, we're dangerous, we're organised and we were everything but that today. Um, we didn't look organised, we lacked cohesion, we lacked legs, we lacked energy. Granted, I think it's been a really tough week physically and mentally but everyone can say that so um, it's only an excuse so far. Some of the feelings of the fans around me thought that the Yells played well for about 10 minutes. Did you even... As a manager's view, you think it was as long as that? Um, I believe when we scored in the second half that we could go on and win the game, not just draw. But again, we, we sucker punched and so open today and lacked any leadership all over the pitch and, 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 and any confidence, which is which is the scary thing for me. You know, We, we give them the belief to, to play and enjoy being hard to beat and we were everything but that today. Um, so uh, now even bigger problems, Macaulay Manning suspended for next Saturday's game and possibly... Uh, uh, Flanagan uh, being injured. Uh, another tough week. What, what are you expecting well, to do? Well, we, uh, we reflect on what's been a really tough week. I think, you know, um, it's gone from a, a very good week to being a disappointing week now, especially with the suspension and, and the injury. But listen, this is football and we've got, we've got to enjoy these periods. This is what we're, we're paid to do now. Um, go through adversity and come out the other end so um, this is the first defeat in a long time and um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll dust ourselves down and we'll go again next week uh, Need the two training sessions rather than a game this week thankfully you've got it haven't you? Well yeah listen everyone can have a rest now and get back to their full energy because we lack that today for whatever reason I don't know listen I only see them Tuesdays, Thursdays I don't know what they do in their, in their own lives but you know as we just mentioned in there we've got to start managing ourselves better because that's not an energy I expect on a Saturday afternoon